it going to affect humans? I know a lot of people are going to ask that question. That's probably one of the most important questions and certainly one in the front of mind for every Australian. And it's really important that we demonstrate the level of safety around introducing this virus from a human health perspective. There's a couple of lines of evidence that we uh, can draw on to demonstrate that it is extremely safe for humans. Um, number one, uh, it's, a, it's a herpes virus and as I mentioned they tend to be very species specific. It's a fish virus. Now there are no examples of any fish viruses ever causing disease in humans in the world. That's a good starting point. Um, th some researchers in Israel have tried to culture this virus on human cell lines and it just simply won't grow. They've tested lab mice as an example mammal and they don't develop this disease. But a really um, useful body of evidence um, that we can draw on here is in Israel, they farm a lot of carp for human consumption. There is actually a live attenuated vaccine that they use to protect their carp from this virus. Now a vaccine is just a weakened version of the virus. They grow about 5,000 tonnes of carp every year and most of them are treated with this, with this vaccine. And so that's about, if you assume about each fish is around a kilo each, that's about you know, um, 58 million fish that are literally being eaten for breakfast every day by Israelis that are, that are, um, that are carrying this virus. And there's never been, um, in the multiple decades since that's been occurring, there's never been any documented human health issues ever. So there are, there are multiple pieces of information we can draw on to demonstrate that from a human health perspective, this is, uh, this is entirely safe.